Ikenga. Ikenga. Oh, Ikenga. Shall you see your sunrise, Ikenga? Shall you see your sunrise? My first encounter with him was in December 1940. Well, they man all around. There is no area you talk about or you walk about that you will not uh, show you how, how it is done. He was able to use cocoa, palm oil, and a few other uh, products locally to run one of the fastest growing economies in the world. That he was new, named MI Power. Later, Dr. Michael, he won the car. Papara took over at a time when there were no institutions. Even though the eastern region was uh, the poorest of the regions at the time. He was a pioneer. He had to lay the foundation for this. Whatever he sets his heart on, which is good, you will see to it that it is done properly. From January till December, there was always a new project, you know, that was commissioned. He's a very pragmatic person, but always rooted in the people. Like that, as if he was so, <laughs> he was in such a hurry that he wanted to do so much. Unfortunately, the Civil War dislocated so many things. I personally felt extremely sad. Because the ideas and the principle which they stood for, their successors in many, in many cases didn't follow. And that's where we are sitting to today. Onyaya Lawane does leave nobody behind. A philosophy of the Igbo community, you know, that's what it built into. The politics of then was politics of principles. Truth was that he was an honest man. He was really a nationalist. He didn't build a house, even in his hometown. He was dedicated uh, in Nigeria of Igbo extraction. Down forever. We shall rise again. We shall yet see our sunrise. You can get sunrise.